Okay, we're going to work on the beads. And for the beads, I like to wear gloves. And I put parchment paper down and a paper towel when I peel them because the beads, as you know, they stain. So the first thing that I do is I trim off the bottoms. See how you can see the juice and they will stain your cutting board and everything it comes in contact with. Here what I do guys is I start peeling the beets and getting them cleaned up. Now to make it easy for me, I just remove the paper towel and I leave them on top of the parchment. This goes right into the trash can. Now I'm going to slice them. Okay, and then we're going to put these in a bowl that I have over here and I'm going to keep slicing. Now, I remove the top layer of parchment, wipe my knife. Now, what we do is I get some olive oil, and I drizzle some olive oil, and I get some kosher salt, about a tablespoon of kosher salt, and we're just going to rub everything together. And that's it. We're going to put them in a 375 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes until they're tender, okay? And that should just about do it right there. Now I'm just going to put them on this parchment here. Put them on a single layer. And pop them in the oven. Okay, then I'll be right back when they're cooked to show you. The beets were ready. They were in the oven for exactly 40 minutes. I test them with the fork. And if they poke through real easy, that means they're ready. So moving on to the next step. This is the orange Part. What I like to do, take a very sharp paring knife and I cut off the ends and then I just circle the orange. Try to get just the peel. Okay, then what I do is I go right between the segments and I just slice out that wedge. See? So all you're going to get is the little wedge. Here what I'm doing is I'm going to squeeze the juice of one whole lemon. This gave me exactly a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. Okay, so here I have this little jar to mix the dressing. I have two cloves of garlic that I finally chopped or minced I should say. And here I have a, the juice of one lemon which came out to a quarter of a cup. And I am going to add a half of a cup of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Okay, pour that in there. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of kosher salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground pepper and one teaspoon coarse grain mustard. That's about enough right there. And I'm just going to cover it and shake it. See how it emulsifies like that. I'm gonna give it a taste. And a little bit more salt. And add a half of a teaspoon more of salt. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna set this aside till we're ready for our salad. Here I have is three small chicken breasts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fillet the chicken and I just wanna get it as thin as possible. I'm gonna show you here how I do it. This is a very sharp knife. And basically, you're just slicing it in half, and that's it. Okay, now that I have the chicken breast clean, I'm going to get a plastic bag, and what I did is I split it in half. You put your chicken breast on there, and we are going to tenderize it. And that's it. Put it aside, do the next one. I just put it on a piece of parchment paper like this and I fold it over. I put the next piece up here and I just keep piling them up to get them out of my way. Do the next one. 
Okay, and that's it. Okay, we're going to go to the breading part next. You have to discard the paper when you're done, the plastic, because you don't want to reuse that by no means. Okay, for the breading part of it, here I have some panko breadcrumbs. And to the panko, I'm going to add some pepper and some salt and a little bit of poultry seasoning, about a teaspoon. And we're going to give this a mix. Okay, for the egg portion, here I'm going to put two eggs. We're going to season this as well, season in layers. Put some pepper, some salt, and a tiny bit of poultry seasoning. And to this, we're going to loosen it up with a little bit of water, about a tablespoon of cold water. In the meantime, I am going to preheat a skillet with some vegetable oil. So we can get to frying the chicken breast and that's it clean up my mess okay now for the breading part for the chicken what I do is I take my chicken piece and I drop it into the egg wash shake off as much as I can and then I put it into the panko pressing it down and these pieces are very thin so they're gonna cook really quick so you don't want your fire too hot because you want them to cook on the inside but you don't want the panko to burn Okay, then I just put them on a piece of parchment and I move on to the next one. Okay, I'm going to transfer you over to the stove so we can get these frying. Okay, now that I have the oil hot, I am going to pop in the chicken breast, the panko, and you have to be ready for this because these go pretty quick. Slide them in there away from you. And over here on this side, I have a tray with a napkin but I'm gonna pop them in. Just kinda of wanna leave them alone. It's about three minutes per side. I'm already getting a little toasty around the edges, so I'm gonna check the other side. Almost ready. Okay, turn it over. We have that nice golden color. I'm going to flip it back over to the other side. See how pretty that looks? Nice and golden brown. Okay, that's ready. I'm going to take my tray and carefully remove it. I just set it on my tray and move on to the next piece. This is our last piece. And I'm going to transfer you back over so we can assemble the salad. Okay, guys, we're going to assemble everything. I take the dressing that we made earlier and I give it another good shake to refresh everything. And what I like to do is I take a little bit of the dressing here in my bowl and I put some on the bottom of the bowl and then I take my greens that I'm going to use for this recipe and I put them in there and this is what I'm using the baby spinach spring mix okay and what I do is I like to toss the greens in the dressing first sometimes they get away from me where you're just getting them all dressed just like that Now I take my orange wedges and I just kind of arrange them around any place just to where you get enough on each plate. Then I take the beets and I toss them around, place them around anywhere you like them. You can toss it if you like. I just think the presentation is nicer when you do it this way. Then I take the goat cheese and I just dollop it around in different areas. Put as much as you want, that's up to you. And then I get the chicken. I'll clear this off a little bit. And 
and I just place it on top okay and then I get I like to put a little bit of crunch and here I'm gonna put a little bit of pumpkin seeds just a few around but just a sprinkle of more dressing so that the chicken can get some as well and that's it there's the salad okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you give it a try and like it come back and give us a big old thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel please share us on your social media okay guys that's gonna do it for today talk to y'all later bye